Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to remove dead air spaces in your videos in Camtasia 2020. All right, so I just did this screencast recording and you want to remove the dead air that's happening because it's just, you know, me thinking or it's a mistake or something. And it's best to remove those so that you have the best parts of your video and removing all of these dead air spaces is an, is a technique called jump cut editing. It's basically you remove all the pauses, all that stuff, and you only have the meat of the video. You only have the good stuff. And that's why when you watch our videos and you see, it doesn't look like I'm taking a breath or anything or a drink of water. It's because I cut all that stuff out. So this is something I just recorded and let's zoom into the timeline by clicking the plus button here. And you can see right away, you, this is dead air right here. This blank spot right here, this blank spot right here, this one right here, and this one right here. And all this stuff, kind of like, you know, really pointy mountains and stuff, that's audio. That's when I'm actually speaking. So what you want to do is you want to highlight both of the tracks here. I've got this uh, is the screencast recording and this is the actual audio. So when you've got it highlighted, move your cursor to where the audio starts. So I'm going to press the space bar. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Joel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys. Hey guys, how's it going? It's okay, so you can hear that I made a mistake there. So I'm going to cut out all this part because I actually started over here. Now let me just play this part here to make sure that I didn't start again. All right, so in this video. Okay, and then let me, I'm just gonna go over here to see if I need, if I started again. All right, so this is good. All right, so I'm going to first cut this part. Now you can zoom in even more if you wanna be more precise. I usually use this magnification, this this type of intense mag magnification. I don't zoom in all the way like this because that's just way too much. So I usually start from the center, which is this one, and then I go one above the center. Sometimes if the audio is like I may I really made a mistake or something, I might need to go into this mode but it's very rare that I need to go full magnification. So I'm going to go to about there. Now I like to use the period and the comma key to move the cursor so I can be more precise. So I'm going to press the period key to move forward and get it to about there. Then I'm going to click the S key, which is to split it. Then I'm going to highlight it and then delete it. So I've just removed all of that dead air. I'm going to slide everything back to the beginning and I'm going to play the end part of this to see when I need to cut it off and start from here. So I'm going to play it. Your viewers are online. Okay, so I'm going to press the space bar right when I finish saying the word online. So I'm going to press space bar to play and space bar to stop. Viewers are online. Okay. Now, if you overshoot it and you go too far, you again, you can use the period or the comma key to move forward and back. Let's say I didn't press the space bar in time or this, the pause or the stop button and it ended up over here. You can just take your mouse and move it over or like I said, you can press the comma key to move back as I like using those because they're more precise. So I'll just play it again. Are online. Okay, so I'm going to press the S to split and then I'm going to head over here and I'm going to go up against here, press the space bar. All right, so this is going to be beneficial. And we need to cut from here. I pressed the period key to move it one frame over. 
press the S key to split, highlight it. I do this trick where I hold the control backspace because it's going to delete the media that's highlighted and it's going to delete the space. So if I go like that, then it moves it in place. If you do it the traditional way and you just delete it, then it leaves the space and then you have to highlight this and drag it. If you did it the way that I just explained before that, then it actually saves you a lot of time from having to drag your media over. And you want to go through and do this exact same thing throughout your entire video, removing the dead air spaces. Like I said, when you do that, it makes your video more precise. You have only the good parts. People don't really want to be hearing the dead air and all that stuff happening in your videos. All right, guys, that was it for this video. If you like these types of videos, I have a nine plus hour Camtasia course that you guys can get two months free access to. It's got over 70 lectures. And if you really want to fast track your Camtasia learning, I highly recommend checking it out. Again, that's two months free access down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.